My name is Jason Crow. I'm the CEO of Juvo. Our mission is to create better claims outcomes by creating better experiences for injured workers. OKRs kind of came up for us maybe about two years ago. We're a small team, and at this time, we were rebranding ourselves and really kind of coming from a company that offered one service to offering a complete solution and bringing something actually new to our clients, which is kind of focusing on an injured worker's experience and building kind of claim systems and processes around that. What we found is that we needed something to manage these really big, lofty, strategic initiatives. The way that we were managing it, we just weren't really making progress towards the things that, that really matter, uh, the things that were really gonna push us forward. So we started our search and looking at different strategic frameworks, came across objective and key results, really felt that it was just great for our team. We love the alignment, we love the tying the outcomes to the objectives, everything being measurable. All the things that objective and key results take into account, we really liked that it was also scalable, that it worked for us as a small team, and as we grew, that we could see it working for us even better. So we really have big goals. We really want to bring about change to our industry. And anytime you're trying to uh, do that, be the first to do something, obviously is very challenging in an established industry. That goal in itself requires industry to change. And some of our goals also involve turning from a service company where all the services are offered by humans to um, eventually in a few years will be a technology company with the human services secondary. Those are some of the audacious kind of goals that we are trying to get to. So the real drive for us was we were noticing basically that we would state our mission, state our goal, but nothing would, would happen. We just were not making progress. You know, when we would check in, there would just be nothing done. Also, we're in a very busy kind of industry, very task, very tedious kind of work. We started being a task-focused company versus a mission-focused company. And the drive for me uh, when I discovered OKRs to bring that to my team was that my team had more to offer than just completing tasks. They're, they're the type of people that have the ability to, to change something. They're, they're talented. And objective and key results was giving us that opportunity to maximize the talent and include everybody in the organization aligned towards the bigger purpose. And that was really the drive for me, especially with the sports background. I played uh, basketball throughout uh, my life. And uh, one, one of the most important things on winning teams is everybody is aligned. Everybody feels invested 100% in that they're contributing towards the key objective. And in a lot of organizations that's lost. And I know in, in our organization at Juvo, we couldn't afford for that to be lost. So that was the key drive there. Choosing the tool was very important for me. I understood that uh, for our company, we needed something easy to use that was highly flexible. Profit came actually later. We tried other products. Most of them did not have the peer focus or were not born out of objective and key results. They were other tools that added some sort of goal management, kind of mimicking OKRs a little bit, but it but it really didn't give that flexibility or the features that Profit would offer. But um, at the time, Profit wasn't around really. We didn't know about it when we first uh, started a few years ago. We went through probably about five different programs, like 15, five, I think there's one called Seven Geese and all these other ones. Either they were really expensive and did not add the value and didn't really have the features or really still did not fit our needs. We still had to ha like have other tools to kind of go along with in other ways, still using Trello along with it to manage things the way that we wanted to. Or even if it was somewhat affordable, OKRs were secondary. There were never any new features. We were hoping things would happen and it wouldn't happen. When I came across Profit, I noticed one that the company was kind of based here here where the strategy framework was kind of born uh, that was um, attracted to me. I signed up for a trial. My team immediately loved the flexibility that Profit offered. The features for the price, it's not even close. I would say more than that made me choose it, what's more important is what made me stay, is actually the team and the support at Profit. We actually talk about Profit's 
team and their support and how we want to incorporate the way that Profit treats its customers into our own business. I've spoken to the CEO I mean, we're, and we're a small team. And when we have an issue, you know, they, they hop on a call with you. They make sure that you know how to use the, the product. Somebody on the engineering team is there. I've never seen a company where, whether you're dealing with a team of six, 12, 20, a uh, thousand that treats everybody the same way. And they were committed to improving the product and feedback that I gave early on, they actually incorporated. So I just knew that they were going to win with that uh, strategy, that profit was going to continue to uh, be around and, and, and get bigger. They were going to add more features because they listened to their customers. Really, that's what made us choose profit, stick with it. The software itself is just outstanding and the people are just even more outstanding. So that's what made us choose profit. It's more like a partner. They're going to help us if we're struggling with our OKRs and, and how to execute them and all of that stuff. We are going to get help from them. And that's comforting to, to know. So implementations, starting off with just the OKR part for us, it was really important to make sure that the team really understood not just what objective and key results are, but the actual benefits to them. I think a lot of companies that I know that use OKRs as a strategy framework have some sort of aspirational mission. People join the team because they want to go on a journey. It was really important that they understood the benefits that it was going to help align that, that ideas were not just going to purely just come from top down, but things coming bottom up, you were going to be able to make an impact and contribute towards the actual mission, which is why a lot of people have actually joined our team in the first place. So wanted to making sure that that was understood, uh, teaching people the very basics on what objective and key results are, and then practice just kind of setting our own goals out without software actually was, was very important as well too for us. But when we got to profit, it was just super easy. It was just very intuitive. So it only took one training session for us to roll it out, give a demonstration to the team. Everybody was just able to, to hop in and just kind of get to work. Profit team met with us, said, hey, what exactly do you want to do? Said, okay, we'll configure the system for you and then log in on Monday and see if it works. We'll make all the things that you're not using disappear, all of that. And that was really helpful because we really believe in not kind of distracting our team with other things that are there that we're not using and things that we don't need to see. So the team there at Profit really just tackled it straight on and made it not an issue and made implementation easy for me and my team. COVID obviously affected a lot of uh, businesses and, and ours especially. Our, our company was really based on doing a lot of face-to-face -face interaction with people. So we were very used to actually kind of being together, collaborating. You know, our conference room is called the Innovation Lab because we're just always in there, just ideas, ideas, ideas together discussing. So not having that was a challenge. So a lot of things that we've struggled with in the early adoption of everyone being remote, I would say that OKRs was the easiest thing to manage. There was very few changes. One of the things we love about the framework is that when you do need to pivot or change, it's a lot easier to do. The way that things are presented in profit, it's always clear on what we're doing. We can we, we realize that we can be anywhere. It's actually, we, we use the tool more now. Those forced check-ins and conversations that you need to have with your team. If we didn't have that, I think it would have been tougher for us to change. We had to change our model significantly. Like so we did 90% of our work in the field and then all of a sudden it became very administrative and paperwork heavy and digital. And so we had to make a huge change. So OKR force you to actually make decisions and truly prioritize. So I think having that framework already in place allowed us to just go into our natural check-in, do the same thing we always do, and check our priorities, realize that we need to shift and put an objective to the backlog, bring a new objective into the forefront. It, it was essential, the framework and having profit as the tool, it, it was really essential to us making the shift to remote work.
profit and the framework of objective and key results really help with that significantly. Yeah.